Hello and welcome to a brand new F1 2021 series and one that I guarantee will only take 10 minutes to watch. In this series we will be bringing my team back to the channel and a classic F1 team once again. Last year we did Jordan, this year it's Lotus. And with the theme being 10, we are going to have 10 race seasons as well. So it is going to be a custom season, including Portugal for season one, which is going to be absolutely amazing. I'll show you what the full calendar will be in just a second. With the season opener in Portugal, then moving on to Canada, France, Austria, Britain, Hungary and Belgium. Then off to Italy before season finales in USA and Brazil respectively. This is going to be a really exciting season so make sure you leave a like down below if you're looking forward to it. Let's introduce you to the new Lotus team. Welcome Lotus Mercedes F1 team led by none other than the Hulk himself. Nico Hulkenberg is returning to Formula One leading this team. Dan Ticton is going to be our teammate in the first half of the season i'm really looking forward to it hopefully you guys are too hello folks and welcome to this a very special edition of paddock pass as you can see there's no pit lane behind me and as you can hear no roar of engines and that's because they've set me free from the f1 paddock to escape here to the countryside and to the headquarters of formula one's newest team well i had the opportunity to ask them these very questions just earlier today and here's what they have to say okay you don't need to hear what i've got to say let's see how we get on in qualifying well, all, thanks well it is a typically horrible day monsoon like conditions our first flying lap we come up to the line and only go sixth fastest at the moment at 133.2 lap two come up to the line and it is a 132.2 still 11th place slowest of everyone at the moment well, lap three, we go up to 14th, well, down to 15th now. We're still a little bit behind our teammate, Dan Tickton, but that's a lot more like it. Well, here we come, up to the line, 2.3 seconds quicker. What's it going to be? It's enough for eighth at the moment. That would be an unbelievable lap time. People are starting to come out now, all on the intermediate tyres. Can we hang on here? Well, here we go, another eight tenths of a second. Come off, and we're up to third now. And this is short qualifying, so if there was to be a red flag, which isn't in F1 2021, but if there was, we could qualify third here. Well, there we go. A 14th position on the grid for the Grand Prix. Very happy with that. No more testing, no more practice. This is the real deal. And it's make or break here at round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. So Portimao features 15 turns over the course of its 2.9 mile length. Nine are right-handers, six are to the left. And this is a track with a lot of uphill action, which only accentuates the importance of getting those exits right, especially at turn four, where a good line can present opportunities to pass on the way into turn five. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Young superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position. A very happy Carlos Sainz will start second. The golden boy and Ricardo, Russell, Raikkonen, Daniel Tictum and Fernando Alonso. They've taken a grid penalty. Mick Schumacher, Latifi, Mazepin and Antonio Giovinazzi starts from the back of the grid. Here we go then, no formation lap, just getting ready for the lights. That's lights out, away we go here in my team. And it's a great start from Nico Hulkenberg in the Lotus here. And we're going to have a little look down the inside, watching our front wing as we go through and we manage to stay ahead. Of one of the cars that was really trying to get past us and Yuki Sonoda there. Around our outside, but we should be able to flatten him out. And look at this. This is a great run. Well, we managed to get past Esteban Ocon as well. That was a, a fruitful manoeuvre. And we're up to 10th place here on the opening lap. Well, here comes Esteban Ocon. And yeah, we've 
gone massively wide there. He's still down our inside. And well, the safety car has the been deployed. Is out. We need you to reduce your pace. It looks like there's a high amount. Of I feel like Ocon has just passed us, so maybe he shouldn't have. Let's just have a look at this. So we were rounding. Yeah. Okay, slow down, slow down. Your delta is negative, which means you are too fast. We're in, and we're putting on the medium tyres, and you can see there's a Ferrari ahead. There's a uh, Ocon's coming in as well, so this is definitely going to be intense. The Ferrari just comes out in front of us. But uh, here we go, into our pit box for per, first ever pit stop. Exit, for the lowest F1 team, or the newly... Reformed. Okay, Lotus stay F1 clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross over into the track. So a chance to really score some big points today now. Well, we okay, are underway clear. once again here in Portugal, and we've got a great run We're on Charles Leclerc straight away here. Seconds. But we know we've got to play the long game, so we're not going to chuck it down the inside of him on this first lap. But uh, our time will come. Well, we managed to make the move on Charles Leclerc. He nice couldn't move. make Good it job. past Mick Schumacher there. So we are through now. And in theory, in net first position. Which is absolutely crazy. A little bit of oversteer there, though, and Leclerc back through. Well, we're through again. A little bit of argy bargy, but we are through. Around the outside of Mick Schumacher turns into the inside line. That is a beautiful move. And now up to 16th. And another beautiful move in this Grand Prix past Antonio Giovinazzi this time. Up to 15. Daniel well, here we come through time. then. We are now leading the Grand Prix in our first ever race with the Lotus team. This is absolutely crazy, but a couple of on track overtakes after the safety car really really helped but now Esteban Ocon and Charles Leclerc are breathing down our neck George Russell currently fourth well Ocon's down our inside manages to not quite get past us there but now Max Verstappen only 1.8 seconds behind he is hunting us down well this might be the time for Esteban Ocon he looks to the inside and we still manage to stay in front we've just got that outside line absolutely nailed and although we go a little bit wide there Ocon can't make it through but he's right there is he gonna be able to make a move no he's not four laps to go well, we go wide, absolutely unbelievable, and we lose three places just like that. That was that was heartbreaking. We've got a chance on Leclerc here, and we are through. Just about. We'll settle for that. We got DRS on Verstappen now, but it's Esteban Ocon leading the way. For Hulkenberg back on the podium. There goes Perez, he's going to be past lap. us final now, lap of the race. We're leading our onto the final lap, and what does Hulkenberg seconds. have to do for a podium? <laughs> he's just never going to get one, is he? There we go then, Max Verstappen wins the Portuguese Grand Prix, Ocon second, Perez third, and Nico Hulkenberg, That's ourselves, we'll see finishes Arthur, in fourth for our first points of the season 12 points already that's fantastic and driver of the day woohoo there we have it then fourth place in our first grand prix for lotus max verstappen and perez round out a very good day for red bull our teammate dan tictum not having a bad day down in 16th did pretty well to be honest with you only five tenths slower than our fastest lap um, but we really competed today some excellent on track overtaking and that was fantastic so there you go there is the first episode of my my team career with the Lotus so something a little bit different trying to keep these episodes under 10 minutes that has got to be 
the priority for me this season. Short, snappy content for you guys. If you've enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up down below. It really does help out with the part one. Subscribe for more F1 content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.